What's going on guys? Welcome back to Jax Gaming. Today we have another dope my faction video for you guys. This one should be pretty interesting. We got a lot to go over, man. And yes, face cam Jack is back, man. You guys know it's been a minute since I had a face cam. I told you guys I've been working on the setup, but it's still, you know, improving. I still got some other things I want to do that's going to make it even more insane. But well for ado, man, let's get right into the my faction video. All right, so here you guys go. This is a locker code. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already claimed it because I saw that 2K themselves tweeted this locker code out, well, yeah, yesterday, I believe, and I've been gone for a couple days. But I do want to let you guys know that this locker code has actually been available since Monday. <laughs> I actually had this locker code <laughs> in my inventory since Monday. I didn't get a chance to make a video on it, but I'm here today, and I guess it makes perfect sense for what we're about to go over later on. But make sure you guys claim this locker code. Definitely some cool stuff in it. And we're going to open up that pack first, so let's go ahead and do that first. And while I'm at it, I might as well open up all the other packs that I have here in my inventory, man. So we got, what, a side plate, it looks like? Yeah, we got a side plate, so that's nothing too crazy. But you guys already see it, man. I do not know what this is. I literally had it since my <laughs> I claimed the locker code. I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> so I, I guess it's something dealing with Uncle Howdy, Howdy and stuff. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm definitely interested in it. I, I don't know if it's going to be a card, a manager, a side plate. I don't know. It could be a, like, oh, yeah, there's no more contracts, but it could be something, man. All right, let's open up this Heat Series 1 pack, though. Can we get something good? You know what I'm saying? Got the webcam today. Can we can we get something good for the first video? No? Oh, oh. Okay. Hey, hey. May, maybe the webcam is what's going to bring me luck. You guys saw that, right? We got Dominic Mysterio. 11,000 MFP. A Maxine Dupree as well. Okay, let's go, man. Let's go. I'll take it, man. All right. And here we have it. We have the special, the secret locker code. Now, this thing been available since Monday, guys, like I said. So, let's see what's inside, man. I'm definitely interested in seeing what's inside of here. What could it possibly be? Amethyst. Oh, oh, I get it. Is it a cosmetic? Oh, it's a manager. Oh, it's a manager. Oh. Oh. So it's a manager. That's that's pretty interesting. Okay, wait. I definitely want to check that out right now. So yes, it's indeed definitely a manager. And hey, that's dope. It definitely uh, is okay for my squad. My squad has a lot of strikers because I like strikers. But he definitely does do some good things for my squad except for Rey Mysterio. But like I said, Rey Mysterio is going to be the first person to go on my team when it comes to the Mel Superstars. So... We'll definitely see what... Oh, actually, yeah, he's definitely going to be... <laughs> he's definitely going to get replaced very, very soon if you guys know what's about to happen next. So, hey, that's a cool manager card. Make sure you guys claim it. I don't, I'm not too sure when it expires, but like I said, it's been available since Monday. So, that's really cool stuff. That's definitely really nice. All right, so I was literally already finished with the video, so you guys are going to see this midway. But we got some more stuff here in my faction that is not shown on the base menu guys so let's go ahead and take a look at it right now so as you guys can see we got some more cards right here wow look at how many amethyst live event cards there are now i know i've been gone for a couple days right but these were not available anywhere in the game so again these are just preloaded, and i'm assuming for tomorrow so i'll probably put this in before my next segment that i just said at the end of the video but as you guys can see here we got a ton of amethyst cards in live events wow oh i'm excited i'm excited so now it makes me wonder what's going to be happening tomorrow because in my next segment after this i talked about faction wars and the bosses so it's going to be interesting to see what happens oh man let's let's take a look at these cards oh my gosh i know this card's about to be insane i know she's a striker too oh my gosh i know this card's about to be insane oh what, what year was it? I keep on getting my cards confused. I can't remember if it was 2K22 or 2K23. She had a card that was so cheesy, guys. This card right here is probably going to be just as cheesy, man. I'm telling you guys this right now, man. Oh, my gosh. 90 leg power. Oh, my. 89 arm power. Yeah, this, this card is going to be it. I, hey, I, I just hope. I just hope out of all these cards, there's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Out of 7 cards, I really hope. That they're not pay to play. I really hope that some of them aren't. This Stacy, I need this Stacy, man. I need it. I need it. 
I know this card is going to be absolutely insane. Body durability, 89. It's just too good to be true. There's no way that this is going to be a free card for us. There's no way. We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Wow, a 90 leg durability, 83 arm durability, pin escape, 77. And you know the thing is, too? I'm not going to try and get too hyped because we're only in Amethyst tier. She could very well have a Galaxy Opal card that will be even better than this. Have 99 everything. So, you know, that's the thing. You got to always calm down. You know, you don't want to go too crazy because look at my MFP. You know, I definitely do not want to make the same mistake that I made earlier when at the beginning of Amethyst tier. You know what I'm saying? So, if I can get her, cool. If not, hey, it is what it is, man. I'm, I'm good, you know? Oh my gosh, all the answers, sting like a bee, pain train, always see it. Yeah, this is this this is going to be a good card, man. I'm telling you. Resiliency has her ability to. Yeah, this card's going to be, this card's definitely going to be it. This is, I definitely need this card for sure, man. We also have a Blair Devonport. Now, she actually has a pretty good moveset as well, too. So, that should be pretty interesting. I wonder, yeah, I, I definitely wonder which cards are going to be available for, you know, for a majority of, of the player base besides opening up packs and stuff. That's definitely going to be interesting, guys. So, we got uh, 72 arm power, leg power 72, body durability 78. Stats are not the best. A, a 66 pen escape? Dang. I mean, I know she has a pretty good move set, but... The stats, hopefully she has better badges then. Finisher 84. Okay, yeah, she does have definitely, she definitely does have better badges, but still like, she's okay. She's okay. And she has resiliency as her ability as well. We have Natalia. Natalia, I don't think I've used Natalia in this game yet. I can't remember if I have. You know, Natalia, she, she's pretty cool as well, obviously. Obviously, she's definitely gonna be pretty cool. Stats, 82 arm power, strike reversal 60. I know she has a good moveset though, so it's like, hey, you know, she can make it work. You can definitely make it work with all these cards, for sure. Pin escape, 82. Finisher, 88. Yeah, her finisher is definitely gonna be deadly, for sure. Definitely nice. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. Natalia. Yeah, there's no way these cards are going to be free. There's no way. There's no way. The both of the Stacy and Natalia, man, so far are definitely cards that are going to be absolutely insane. These are definitely cards you guys want. Wow. Really nice stats right there, man. Really nice stuff right there. We also got an Endless Tozawa. Now, he actually does. I, I, I feel like I've used his card before from other 2Ks. I know he has actually a pretty good moveset as well. So. A lot of these cards have really good movesets, and there's a card that I've seen that we're definitely going to need to talk about after this, because I'm very hyped for this one. But overall, nice nice offense. Look at that. Aerial offense, 99. Aerial range, 99. My goodness, like, what are these cards? Like, these are some insane cards. These are some insane cards, man. Body durability, 80. Pin escape, 73. Okay, stamina, 99. Oh, my gosh. Recovery, 99. Agility, 99. Finisher, 93. Special 86, man, what? <laughs> Yo, I'm in shock right now. What is? What are these cards? Yo, these cards are insane. Resiliency has his ability. What are these cards? I'm telling you guys. What, did I say there's seven cards right Yeah, Yeah, two, four, six, yeah, there's seven. If there, out of seven cards, please, 2K, please make some of them easy to get. Please not make us open up tons of packs, please. If, if, if you guys want to make us do a one-on-four handicap match where we have to use a, a, a sapphire against pink diamonds, make it happen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't do that. Please. I do not want to do that. But if that's what it's going to take for us to get these cards for free, then hey, we're going to have to do it, man. I'll make a tutorial video on how to complete that match. I got you guys covered if that ever happens. But these cards are really good, man. Wow. Overall. I'm very impressed with all the cards. Next up, we have Dijak. Now, this card, his moveset is insane. His moveset is absolutely insane. If you guys know, this dude, his moveset is absolutely incredible, man. If I could get this card as well, he will 100% make the squad as long as his moveset is the same. Because if his moveset is not the same, then we're, we're going to have to see how the stats and badges are. You know what I'm saying? Arm power, really cool. 74. Leg power, awesome. Okay, okay. Strike reversal, 74. Okay. Grappling Reversal 74, Body Durability 86, Arm Durability 86, Pin Escape 80, and 86 Finisher. Yeah, so stats don't seem too, too crazy. 92 Strength as well. Yeah, stats don't seem too crazy, but I do know, like, his moveset is really nice, so I can definitely make it work with this card. Sting Like a Be Heavy Handed, okay. I, I, I think I can make it work. I have to see his moveset. Like, literally, like, the stats aren't, the badges aren't crazy, and so aren't the stats, too. But... 
if he has the same moveset, like I said, I can I can make it work. I definitely can make him work. Really, man. And move Thief as his ability. So, overall, a pretty cool, decent card for sure. Next up, we have Damian Priest right here. And, obviously, Damian Priest has a really nice moveset. I do like his moveset a lot. So, he has an 88 arm power. Let's see, body durability, 83. Really nice stuff. 88 finisher. I don't really need to go over his stats because his his art his moveset's really nice. You don't even need it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. These cards are insane, guys. I'm 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 a little worried, man. I'm a little worried because a lot of us are seeing these cards right now, and I wonder how easy they they are gonna they're, they're gonna be to obtain. You know, like hopefully hopefully they get revealed tomorrow or possibly later on today. Resiliency has his ability, but man, I'm a little bit nervous for that. Like, dang, like you guys saw how hard it was just to get Braun Strowman. And here's like, these are Braun Strowman's stats and badges. Like, like it was kind of impossible to get him, honestly, if you have bad pack luck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So out of seven cards, which cards are going to be more the most obtainable? I, I really don't know, but we'll see once they get into the live events tab because they're currently not there. And then we have a Dusty Rhodes card who is an 89 overall which he also has a great moveset as well. Like, these are some really top-tier cards. Like, you guys can see the badge, the stats for yourself. Like, this is a top-tier card himself right here. Like, oh my. Bruh. Bruh. Yo, you. Oh, my gosh. Nah. Nah, bro. That's it. That's it. There's no, yeah. None of us are getting this card. <laughs> Nobody is getting this card <laughs> unless you literally open up packs like crazy. I mean, hey, if you want to risk your MP or VC, hey, that's you. Do what you want to do with your own money. I have no problem, but me, <laughs> I'm not going to risk it, especially with my pack luck. But yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoy this card. I know for a fact, I know for a fact, there is absolutely no way I'm going to be getting it. I, I wouldn't be shocked. If you had to get that Omega card in order to get this card, you probably need... No, no, no. You know what? They'll probably make it to where you need that Omega card, Braun Strowman, and they're going to have some other pay-to-play live event that you're going to need to in order to participate for this card. There's no way any of us is getting that card. So that 100% confirms that some of these cards will not be easily obtainable right here, and this is one of them. I guarantee you. There's no way. There's absolutely no way we're all going to be running around here with this Dusty Rogues card, man. Wow. Wow. And resiliency as his ability. It would have been cool if he had comeback. If he had comeback, that would have been even more crazy. That, um, but he does have going in hot, so that wouldn't have made sense. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Resiliency as actually perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, because I just saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't need comeback at all. Man. Wow. Let me just check. Let me just check, actually. We got to check this. We got to check the live events tab because it's not updating for some odd reason. And we can't see anything, yeah. Oh my gosh. How hard are these cards going to be able to, like, oh my. I don't even know. I don't even know. I still got to go for the CM Punk card. Oh, I only got 22 hours? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I got to get going with this. Okay, okay, for sure. I'll definitely grind this out real quick. All right, so now for the main part of the video right here. We got ourselves an Amethyst Farouk card here. And he is the 87 overall. Definitely really cool. And here are his beginning matches because it's the only one we can have unlocked right now and they're very easy they are extremely easy whoa yeah this will definitely be pretty easy I'm, I'm not too sure how the others will be but hey i am definitely happy that we got some more proving grounds chapters now what's cool is we also get some tokens too i see do we get any more oh yeah oh wait yeah yeah so we do get some tokens gotta do some tedious stuff though but 150 grab attacks yeah, you're definitely going to have to go back after you finish this chapter. Do that again so you guys can get the 150. But other than that, this seems like pretty cool. I wish we got an Amethyst card for this chapter right here instead of um, getting a Ruby, a Ruby Demian Priest. You know, that would have made more sense because then we get the same tier levels from the other from the previous ones. Let me see. Yeah, for Ultimate. Oh, I guess we did. It. Okay, okay. Okay, I, I get it then. Never mind. Never mind. But, hey, I'll take it. We got ourselves another free Amethyst card. I'll take that. And let's take a look at his, his stats right now, too. Here's a look at his stats. Grappling offense at 82, 77 arm power. Really nice. Body durability is an 87. Cool, cool. Strike reversal is a 72. That's, that's decent. Body durability, 87. Really nice. Uh, let's see. 
Pin Escape 82, that's decent. Movement Speed 67, okay, yeah. His, his, his stats seem to be on par with, like, his previous cards that he's had and from other My Faction games, like 2K23 and... Was he in 2K22? I can't remember. But, um, or was it... I can't remember which ones I'm getting... I'm getting them confused, but whichever one it was, he has pretty much similar stats and stuff, so... Hopefully his badges are pretty good, because I know... I, I believe he had some pretty good badges from those cards as well, so... Let's go ahead and see. Okay. Heavy-handed pain train. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's nothing too crazy. Definitely nothing too crazy for Proving Ground, especially since we're at the beginning stages of Amethyst here. Obviously, we're not going to get nothing too crazy. Will this card actually replace my Rey Mysterio card? I think so still. I think he will still. Uh, I just, I just, I don't really like to use High Flyer as much. And the only way I would use Rey Mysterio is if, you know, he'll, he'll be good for Faction Wars and for other challenges, but for Proving Grounds, I I rather not. <laughs> it's just his objectives are too, like, even though the objectives are easy, I still don't want to do them. I like to just use Strikers much easier, much faster, way better. And he has Iron Jaw as his ability, which is a really good ability to have as well, so that's really cool. And we get an Extreme Pack as well on the first go. So yeah, that's really cool. This is definitely some easy stuff right here, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like, I know, like, you guys definitely have got to be excited for this. I'm definitely excited for it. And uh, we'll be able to finish this pretty fast. Now, the thing is, I wonder, how long will it be until we get our next Proving Grounds chapter? Obviously, next, well, tomorrow is the beginning of June. Will we be getting Faction Wars content? Will tomorrow be the final day? Well, tomorrow's Saturday, right? Yeah, so Saturday, like, that, that fits perfectly. I can see... I can definitely see us waking up Saturday morning, seeing some new bosses for Faction Wars, obviously new cards for Faction Wars, alongside with a lot more live events, because right now there's no new live events really going on, other than the AJ Styles one, but other than that, that's it. So, tomorrow could be a pretty exciting day, especially since this week was more on the like dry end. Hopefully we can start picking things up tomorrow with some new live events, and hopefully we can get Faction Wars bosses. Now... I would hope we get new Faction Wars bosses, but I don't really know what 2K has planned, so I'm not going to get my hopes up, but keep that in mind that tomorrow we could possibly get it, man. It's been such a long time since launch. We haven't had new bosses since launch, <laughs> so I think this is the perfect timing since we're in a new tier, and I also wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked if they do two things, all right? One being, okay, they give us new bosses, but they're Ruby cards still. I wouldn't be shocked if they do that. They like, like I really wouldn't, because they probably don't want us to get too many Amethyst cards. Because we already know the token market is extremely expensive. Nobody's gonna be really getting any cards from Amethyst tier right away. So they kind of want you to still want to go for the token market cards. They still want you to play live events and stuff. So you know, because if people already have an Amethyst squad, they're pretty much gonna be chilling until the next tier. And 2K definitely wants us to buy packs and stuff like that to participate in live events so i wouldn't be shocked if we do get rubies you know keep that in mind they could definitely do that but there's also a chance that they give us amethyst cards and if they do they might be still on the weaker end we might have like one or two great amethyst cards from the bosses as we did from the ruby tier as well when the game launched like the rock and john cena and stuff like that we'll see what happens then but other than that yeah it's a pretty short video just wanted to go over the new stuff i'm definitely going to be make some more videos on the new Proving Grounds and stuff like that. But tomorrow should be interesting. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. I want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel tomorrow. Here at Jex Gaming, I'll be covering all the new stuff that's going to be happening in my faction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Check out my second channel as well. I had a dope unboxing, man. You definitely don't want to miss it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next time. I'm signing out. Peace.